Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I wanted to share with you how I wrap very simple gifts with vintage notions. This has been a highly suggested video as I like to pick up little items like this at thrift stores and estate sales and yard sales. I pick them up literally for pennies and I use them to wrap my gifts in a way that is memorable and cute. So you'll notice I'm in a different spot today. I am hiding in my room because one of these gifts that I'm gonna be wrapping is for our birthday girl. Okay, so this is the little gift that I'm starting with. It's like a little fake Fitbit. <laughs> for Molly, it's what she asked for. So um, it's already in this nice little box, so I'm gonna uh, show you what I plan to do with this. So I've gathered all my supplies. I have this mint colored bias tape, and I really like wrapping with bias tape because it's nice and flat, and it just lays nicely against the package. I found this scrap of scrapbook paper in my stash. It has the mint color as well as some pinks and grays and a little bit of yellow. Just real cheerful like Molly. And then I had this velvet pink ribbon. Um, it's a vintage ribbon and it's so pretty and soft so that'll look real cute. And then I have a tiny little fawn a little little guy to add to the top for fun and I will be using craft paper as the base for my uh, gift wrap and I like using this because it is so neutral there are many directions you can take it and uh, the kind from the Dollar Tree is much easier to wrap gifts with because it is a little thinner uh, other brands from like Home Depot or um, Walmart, it's thick because you're, it's meant to wrap gifts that will be sent in the mail. And so it's a lot harder for the tape, just regular tape, to hold it in place. So I appreciate just this Dollar Tree craft paper very much. So I'm going to start with that, give that little box a wrap with the craft paper, and then I'll embellish it. So as I'm wrapping, I just wanted to give you guys a tip. With craft paper, it is helpful to um, work the creases of the box a little, um, just to help it stay put and not pull at the tape too much. I'm just using regular scotch tape. I got it at the Dollar Tree. All right, so I have a nice little brown package now that, um, is all ready to go and I just fold my edges into a triangle fold it over and add a bit of tape I don't fuss too much if the bottom's not perfect because the top is where it's at all right so the next step for me is I'm going to crisscross this mint bias tape over the top this is the side that I want down this nice flat side Okay, so the bias tape is now on. Now before I tie a bow, I'm going to add the pink velvet ribbon. Like that. Okay. So now I'm going to take my two ribbons here and create a little bow. Okay, so I now have my bow, you know, simple the way I like it. And I think it's really fun to leave package ribbons a little bit longer so I give my length a little bit before I snip it and I just cut it at an angle so that's the ribbon portion I kind of like it when it hangs down I think it's really cute so um, then I'm going to take this little piece of scrap paper sort of use it as the gift tag I have a corner rounder you wouldn't have to do this, but I feel like it gives it a sort of um, finished looking touch. Okay, so the corners are all rounded and I'm going to tuck this in underneath that bow, sort of at an angle. 
And then all I need to do is add the fawn. And you can use a little glue dot or some hot glue or even some sticky tack and place it on the top of your gift and you are good to go. Super darling little birthday gift. So here's the next gift I'm going to be wrapping. This is for my new precious little niece. And we picked out a little outfit to bring to her when we come to visit her. And there's this really sweet little tutu. And this adorable onesie. It's got a little starfish on the pocket. So normally I would say to remove the tags <laughs> when you give a gift. But we're going to leave them on in case my sister-in-law needs to switch the size. And in this situation, it's not inappropriate to leave the tag on. So I'm going to tuck these into a box I have on hand and give them the craft paper wrap as well. On this package, I was inspired by the blue of the little outfit. So I found some bias tape in a similar color. I don't have as much of it, but I think it should be enough for this package. And I found this scrap of scrapbook paper that has that blue in that bottom flower there. So I thought that would work nicely. It has some shimmer to it. And then I have these wired pearls. These were some vintage notions I picked up at a yard sale. And then some little blue stick-on pearls that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And a little... Um, tiny clothespin to attach the tag. Okay, so I rounded my little piece of paper and kind of tucked it up under the bow. And just for fun, I'm going to add the clip and clip it in place. These are just from Walmart. Okay, I have that little clip in place. You don't have to use this clip. You can do the same um, method as the first one, but I like the way the clip looks on this package. And then I'm going to take as a final measure some of these little pearls and dot them over the top of the package. I like this sort of hint at the ocean with the pearl bubble kind of idea because the little outfit is ocean themed on the inside. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I wrap packages using all the little vintage sewing notions and bits and bobs that I pick up at yard sales. If you are new here, I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button and come back for more. You guys take care and I will be back with more soon. Bye!